Oh yeah, and in other news here, some actual important news, some actual monumental news considering how obsessed I am with Berkheim and some of you guys actually might have heard me speak about it on the podcast before that Ostergut their in-house booking agency has kind of kind of gone by the wayside and at the time when it happened or the news was confirmed a lot of people were speculating that maybe it was the beginning of the end of Berghain and things were changing but from what I've been able to surmise online it was more so to do with you know one of the owners or one of the original founders of Berghain leaving and whoever's left now behind and whoever's in charge and whoever's investing in it has now got a different idea and a vision of where they want Berghain to be steered towards and I guess having a booking agency wasn't something that they thought would be beneficial going forward but it wasn't really an indication of how poorly Bergheim was doing as a business from what I've been hearing that's just my side of things or maybe I'm wrong but that's what I've heard but it is quite encouraging to see this news courtesy of Ben Clock, who's one of the residents over there at Bergheim that he's launching his own uh, booking agency to kind of pick up some of the guys who have been left without representation from Bergheim and he's labeled it Circle it is courtesy of his Instagram account, as you can see here, me begging with the bookmark and the like on there, double interaction, double engagement, double sense of desperation and sucking off the, off the teeth of Blaine Cock, asking him without asking him desperately to sign me to his booking agency so that I can also go on tour and play all these illustrious clubs all around Europe and the rest of the world. Clearly, clearly from the sea, from the 5,000 plus people who have liked that post, he will see my post, see me DJing at fucking Pirate Studios, paying, what, £37 for a three-hour set, uploading that crappy grainy footage to my flipping YouTube channel, and he'll be like, you know what, I need this guy to play alongside me, I need this guy to come into my agency, I'm going to put my arm around this big, big, burly black dude shoulders and get him into the scene that's the hope in it that's the hope anyway this is the caption curse your bank clock he says a new year a new beginning now that osgood booking comes to an end i would like to this is my my german accent i would like to thank my agency for over 15 years the incredible journey is unfolded Moving forward, I'm excited to start my own project, Circle Booking, together with my longtime agent, Alexandra666. She's actually Christian, not, not Satanism. Um, a small selection of artists, some old friends, some fresh talents. Let's see where the journey takes us. Keep an eye on Circle Booking if you would like to be updated. And of course, they've got the name there. And then I think the next page, I think I featured, yeah, there we go. That's the Instagram profile of Circle Booking. Now, if I was being one of those rah, rah, rah people on social media, I'd be saying, it's whitewashed, there's no representation. Where's the diversity, Ben Clock? This is not representative of the scene. But because I want to get on the agency myself, I'm going to keep my spicy takes to myself. And I'm just going to say, what an incredible roster of very talented DJs who all should be on the roster of their agency and who all are some of the bright, shining lights of this industry and are going to take things forward to the next level going forward. Clearly. Just imagine my face on this roster as well. Now imagine, right? So I'm, I'm there on the roster. Right? No, because no one there is smiling. I think, um, what's her name? Stephanie Sykes has got a little bit of a grin. Little bit. Boris maybe has a tiny bit of like a, hmm, you're not coming into my house. And then um, Ben Clock maybe has a little bit one as well, but no one's smiling at that in this picture. <laughs> maybe it would work, maybe it wouldn't. But yeah, big up Ben Clock anyway for starting his own artist booking, booking agency. To be honest, I'm not too sure how these things work. Um, I'm not too sure if they actually do contribute to your overall success as a DJ. I'd imagine they would do, especially with somebody like a Ben Clock and considering his connection with Bergheim and the things that he's done himself as in the DJ career and whatnot. I'm sure those kind of recommendations go a long way. Um, I'm not too sure how much business comes through these sort of pages and whatnot or how it actually functions altogether, what the rates are. Do they take a 10% cut? Is it 50? Is it 20? Is it 30? Is it pro rata? 
who knows is it cash up zl um you know paypal who knows but congratulations to everybody on the roster they've all got home now and going forward i hope they all get mad bookings this dude here in the middle pablo bose has definitely been one of my greatest discoveries in the last couple of years also this guy is an absolute savage behind the decks if you like that synth pop i tell a disco uh, indie dance type of vibe definitely check him out but he's actually quite versatile i think if you check out his uh, boiler room i think it's quite a good, um, ex, you know, a representation of maybe what if you catch him at a random rave, what he might play. But I had the pleasure of seeing him play at the flipping, um, at the Sylvester in Bergheim in June, I think, or June, July-ish um, in the double X, or sorry, the triple X room. And it was absolutely banging. I had a, such a great time. So I definitely recommend you check that guy out if you haven't already. And of course, you know, if you want something more eclectic and a little bit out, out there in terms of the song selections, Sorry, definitely check out Boris also a mainstay over there at Berkheim. who's always tearing it down. And definitely an underappreciated DJ in general. Maybe because he's more of a bit of a meme or whatever, but in terms of people, you know, um, sucking up people like Freddie K, I think Boris should definitely get just about his love. Maybe because he doesn't travel as much. I don't know if, he, if that's the case. I don't see him in a lot of kind of international lineups. Maybe that's the case. But overall, these two guys, Boris and Freddie, sorry, I mean, Boris and uh, Pablo Buzzi, are definitely two of my favorites that I've kind of stumbled across in the last two years or so. And of course, Face Fatale, a few others, you know, whatever, maybe. But let's move on from that one. Let's move on from that one. <laughs> 